Hi guys, my name is Sam. I will be showing you how to create stickers for your bullet journal today. So I used these watercolor brush markers that I bought off of Wish. I want to say they were like $15, but they're really nice. The color shows up really vibrantly. Um, I decided to use these instead of my liquid watercolors because they show up more vibrantly the color is more consistent and it shows better after I print a picture out if I copy it to my computer or phone. I use my phone mainly for copying things. Um, and you'll see later in this video that I use my phone to create the templates for my stickers. So I'm starting off just sketching out a few things. I don't actually use all of these things later on because I only liked a couple of them. And the, uh, the foot, the first foot that I made, I didn't like the colors that I used, so I made another one, but I ended up screwing that one up too, so I made a third one, but I didn't finish, I didn't show the third one on this video because I didn't even use it. So this first foot that I did, I used like a pink and a green color, but I didn't like how that turned out. It looked kind of muddy and they, the colors didn't work well together, so I redid the foot and I used a yellow and a green and this one came out really nice but later on I went back over with um, my papermate flare pen and tried to write steps on the toes because I'm using the foot for my daily steps and I outlined it with the pen and I didn't like the way that looked so I took the toes of the third foot that I drew later on and added that to the outline of the first foot because I liked the way that the first foot or the second foot turned out. Here I'm cuddling, cut, cuddling, coloring in these little leaf thing that I doodled. Um, this sunflower I didn't end up using because I didn't like how it turned out. Uh, after I painted it, it just kind of looked weird, so I didn't add it in my final sticker collection. For some reason, when I was coloring in or outlining the leaves of the rose petals, it didn't record, so that kind of skipped. But this next sticker that I'm working on is for like my work schedule. I write in the times that I have to go to work. I was using a sticker set from Create365, but the work stickers were all different colors and I didn't like how that um, turned out at the end of the month, so I decided to make my own so that it was a little more consistent. And then here I'm going into Adobe Photoshop Mix to create the layout of my sticker set. It was taking forever to load. <laughs> I really like this tool because you can cut out specific parts. Here I'm taking the toes of the third foot that I drew and putting it on top of the second foot that I drew because I didn't, I messed up the second set of toes that I had because I outlined it and wrote steps but I didn't like the way that that, that looked. And then here you can just select and duplicate and reposition and then merge everything down and collect it all onto one page. And then you can save it straight to your photos. And then I go into a Word document and add them to a Word document so that I can print them out later. Now I've already pre-printed these so that just so that I could see how they turned out and how they worked out. Um, so you'll see later that there's already some already pasted in there. I use these Avery labels because they work well as sticker paper. Um, but I'm cutting out the foot because I don't have any cry cuts or silhouettes yet. I'm looking to get one. So that will be fun. But here I'm pasting in, I guess sticking in, the foot sticker next to the one that I've already stuck in before. And I'll go through my Fitbit app and search for my steps for Friday. I'm a couple days behind writing these down because I've been anticipating making this video. But you'll see that I write steps down each of the five toes. And then here is the rose sticker that I have created. But yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to stay connected. Bye guys!